Hello everybody, I am back with another video. My name is Marilyn. Today, I'm going to be spilling my video editing secrets. I'm going to be telling you guys all of the tricks I have up my sleeve of the apps I use to edit, steps I take while I'm editing videos, and all those sorts of things. There will be timestamps in the description and comment section of each topic of how I edit my videos. So if you want to check out specific areas, you can go check those out. Let me just start off with introducing the apps I use. It doesn't cost money at all. Here are the two apps I mainly use while I'm editing. I use the app Velo. I say Velo, but I don't actually know how to pronounce it. And then the second app I use is Documents. This app I use to download background music and sound effects. I forgot to mention that I also use the app PixArt to do all these little doodles as you can see on the screen here. Okay, so let's get into the steps that I take when I'm editing. First off, I import all of my videos onto Velo. Select the videos you recorded and then it will upload it onto the app. The second step is the most dreaded step, the rough cut. This is where I go through all of the clips and cut all the unnecessary clips. And then the third step is the intro. I usually add a border or a overview. The fourth step is to edit the rest of the clips, add in motion stickers, text, like the body of the video and the fifth step I added music and sound effects finally export the clip and then upload it onto YouTube so let's get started into a more specific way of how I edit Hey everyone, this is Editing Marilyn here. I'm just popping in to quickly say that I do have the premium Velo account, but I 100% guarantee that most of the things that I can do in this video can be done without purchasing the premium account. All right, back to the video. Starting off with our rough cut, I've just imported all of my videos as you can see here. We're gonna begin cutting the clips using these tools they provide us. We have the from start, from now, split tool, until now, and until the end tool. So I'm using the from now to adjust where my clip begins. And you can also use the split tool to divide where you wanna leave out some unnecessary parts that you don't want to be included in the video. And here I'm demonstrating how to use the until now button, which basically adjusts when and where your clips end. You can easily delete a video you don't want by clicking the trash can at the bottom left corner. If I want to do a montage or speed up a video, there's a speed option on the bottom. There are preset speeds you can adjust your video to. You can slow it down or speed it up, or you can use the little slider at the top to adjust it to a more specific speed. If you want to rearrange your video clips, press and hold until a menu of your videos pop up. Find the video clip you want to move it to that specific area. And as you can see here, I'm moving clips around to set up my intro for the video. After rearranging, my desired clip is at the beginning of the video now. Let's get on with the intro now, shall we? To add a border, there are two ways. The first way, you can click on the image and pinch it to minimize this video, and then click on backgrounds. There is a variety of colors you can use as your background, but my go-to is pink. For this first way of making a border, you're going to have to pinch every single one of the clips that you want to have a border. Velo has a variety of options you can use to customize your borders. So here are the color options. There's also a gradient option you can use to make an ombre effect behind your video. You can also use a pattern as your background or border, although Velo only allows you to use these specific ones that come with the app. And lastly, you can use a blur option for your background. So here's what the border looks like. And the second way to add borders is clicking on the button frame on the left hand control bar. I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but I am not sponsored. I would be happy if I would, but I'm not. But this app has so many amazing resources you can use to edit your videos. Like look at all of these frames and stuff you can use, especially this one. This frame can actually move. That's amazing. And here are the border options. They have like a movie style or a square. And not only that, you can pinch to adjust the size of the border. So here are just a few of their many cute frame and border designs. Sometimes I would use their film options or the VCR camcorder looking effects. And if you're going for a more scrapbook theme, they also have these Polaroid frames. Now finally, we have transitions. As you can see, each clip is divided by a little square in the middle. And this, when you click on it, will bring you up to the large selection of transitions you can use. You can also adjust the speed of how fast the transition moves using that little slider. My go-to transitions are dissolve, slide right, and rotate right. 
Velo also has many cool transitions that I like, especially these graphic ones. As you can see, there are three buttons on the transitions, and those allow you to change the color of the transition. There's also a cool TV static transition. You can also add animations to your individual clips. Usually, I like to go to the overall animations and choose a shake one for more meme-like stuff. Or you can spin around like a tornado, like... Um, anyways, so I also like to use this tremble effect. It makes it look like there's an earthquake. And that's all for transitions. Now let's get into the text. On the left hand control bar, you can click on the add text option and it will pull up a bunch of different preset fonts and text styles that you can use for your video. What I love about Velo is that I have a recent option which saves all of your recently used text and fonts so you don't have to go back and search for them. You can change the font with their wide range of font styles and they also have a bookmark option so that you can save the ones that you really like. Here are some of the fonts that I use. There are numerous ways you can customize your text, you can change the color, and you can even add an outline and also change the color of the outline. There is a better for you to adjust the width and thickness of your outline. You can also add a background to your text and even changing the color and transparency of the background using the color options. Velo has a bunch of palettes you can use and a picker if you want a more specific color. And lastly, there is a drop shadow option. You can change the angle of the drop shadow or the transparency. Like all other video effects that are on this app, you can add an animation. For example, if you want a keyboard typing effect, I would use the unfold right animation. Okay, now getting into the fun stuff. I'm gonna show you guys how I do the zoom-ins and tracking your motion. You're gonna have to click on the video and then there will be a switch. Turn on the partial setting. This is the most crucial part. First, add the place where you want the zoom-in to start and then keep clicking that diamond in the middle as you adjust your footage to the areas where you want the zoom-in to follow through. For this one, I'm dancing the dynamite so I'm trying to make it track my left and right movements by moving along the diamond. And here's how the footage turned out. Now let's get into the labels. Velo has a ton of labels you can use, and these are basically like text boxes, but instead of just a plain white background, they have cool and cute designs you can add. So normally I like to use these paper-like labels and then type in whatever I want in it. And sometimes I would use a handwriting font to make it look like I actually wrote on it in some way. Once again, like all the other add-ons, there are animations for every single item you put in your video. So next we have captions. Velo has a large selection of captions you can use and so many of them are cute and has so many different themes that you can use. I normally just use the captions that YouTube make you input but these captions here on Velo are just, they're unbeatable. You can have these captions that has names on it if you have more than one person talking and it's customizable so that you can change the name and you can even change what the person is saying. Now let's get into the stickers. Velo has a bunch of stickers and they're kind of like GIFs that you can use to decorate and add more spice to your video. Sometimes I would use the stickers as a background, like this one. There's also a feature called templates, which is essentially an overlay that you can use. They have a bunch of different kinds like hearts and stuff, and you can change the opacity to make it stronger or lighter. They have a cool feature that kind of makes it look like it's raining, or you can make it look like it's raining money. And the last video add-on of this segment is adding images over your videos. You can click this option and then upload an image from your photo gallery. Resize it to any place you want and it can play over your video. Now let's get into the video filters. Velo has a large selection of filters you can use, although I don't really use them that often, but a lot of them are very nice and aesthetic looking. So here are just a few of them to give you a preview. And here's what one of the filters look like full screen. There's all an adjustment option where you can make your video brighter or increase the contrast. Now I'm going to be showing you how I do the animated doodles. You're going to be needing the PixArt app. If you want, PixArt also has a transparent background option, but for this one, I'm using this green background. You're going to go to one of the brushes. There's no specific name for this brush, but you can see on the image here, the one that I'm using. You can adjust the opacity and even the scatter to make it look like a pencil effect. 
I find that zooming in is easier to doodle, so that's what I'm doing here, and then I'm drawing out the word that I want to be written out. After that's done, save it to your camera roll and repeat the process for the second animation clip. This time, I'm changing the way I write it up a little bit so that there's a little bit of a difference. When that's done, save it to your camera roll and then upload it onto Velo. Now you're going to be cutting the clips short so that you can duplicate it and then rearrange it to make the animation effect. Keep doing this until you have your desired length. Here's how mine turned out. Once you're satisfied, save it to your camera roll and upload it to your video. And finally, the last topic we'll be going over is music sound effects. Velo comes with a bunch of different background music you can use, and a lot of them are free to be downloaded. They have different categories of different moods your video could be going in. You can also import your own music that you downloaded from your phone. And not only does this app come with free background music, it also comes with sound effects. And here are some of the sound effects that I use often. And here are some sound effects that I uploaded myself. You can add a voiceover. Here's a little demonstration. They give you a little count off and then you can start talking. Once you're done recording, you can cut the clip to your liking and you can also adjust the volume using the slider. If you want, you can also add in a fade in and fade out effect on your video audio. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to download music for your videos. Just go and search a song on YouTube and copy the link. Now we're going to be using the document app, finally. Click on this little bottom on the right hand corner, and then you're going to have to go to this website. I'll put the link in the description box if you want it. Basically, you paste your link and then download it onto the app. There will be some pop-ups, but all you have to do is double tap X out of the app. It only takes a couple seconds to download. Then you want to go back to the files, click the three dots, and then share it to your files. Now that that's done, go back to your app and you can finally upload that file onto your app. This is how you can download any song or any sound effect. A great resource to find amazing background music is Thematic or Thematic. It's a large music library full of songs made by various artists you can use. All you have to do is find a song you like, download it, and make sure that you copy the link that they provide you into your YouTube video description. This will ensure that you do not get copyrighted. And the last step is to export your video into your camera roll and then upload it. So there you have it. That is how I edit my videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching my trash content. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.